Hey everybody, this is the LC here with a little um, interesting video here. Uh, something kind of different. Uh, if you haven't noticed, on my Facebook page, I actually made a post that kind of raised a little bit of a question as to what the heck is it. I made a post with nothing like a sentence or anything, just one phrase that said Pokemon Theta Emerald Renew. What? is that so here's what's up uh i've been thinking about this for the longest time and i feel like it's time to update that emerald but in a bigger scale in the sense that it's mm, i don't want to say it's gonna be a different game it's kind of gonna be the same game but a lot of things may be a little bit different like one thing that i want to add is the way they grab legendaries but we'll get into that much later the big thing that i want to make a point of is how many pokemon are going to be in this game now if you automatically think oh it's going to be gen 7 well you're going to be very disappointed it's going to stick with gen 6 but it's include it's going to include some alola forms and some gen 7 forms like the 100 percent Zygarde and things like that Now you're probably flipping out and probably in the comments right now or just liking this video You already left because I said oh, there's not gonna be gen 7 now. Why the hell will I not do gen 7? Well, I, thing is is that I answered this question a couple months ago to be honest Gen 7 I love to death. I don't want you to think that I hate gen 7 at all. I actually Appreciate Gen 7 quite a lot. And by the way, if you're here last week, that's my chair. Gen 7 is probably one of my favorite generations of Pokemon so far. Like, their Pokemon like Salazzle, Vikavolt, and the Ultra Beast are pretty fun to use as well. Plus, game changers like Mimikyu and Wishy Washy, of course. Those guys are monsters if you know how to use them, right? Now, why, oh, why will Mr. LC not include Gen 7 to the th Pokemon Emerald? Here's a good reason, all right? It's actually a reason I said a little while ago. Simply put, is this. Emerald can't do Gen 7 yet. Now, what do I mean by that? So, if you don't know, there's an Emerald Battle Engine upgrade that came out quite a while ago. And what it does is it actually improves the engine from the original Gen 3 game to the current battle engine of today and it's very it's a very awesome engine to use really cool but there's one problem number one it's on hold meaning that little side story remember how a long time ago i said oh when i made when i released data emerald x and they kept on telling it hey it might not be the game it might be the engine that i'm running it on Truth is, I was never wrong. I was about 9 out of 10 times correct where, I mean, some problems were, yeah, because of Data Emerald. Like, if one example was, uh, if you did a contest with Battle Frontier, the game would glitch and you would lose your TMs or HM or something like that, which really sucks. So, yeah, that I want to, I in this update, I hope that it's not a thing. I'm actually using a lot of better resources because the reason why that probably happened was because of the fact that I used the old version of Pokemon uh, expansion but the one that I currently have now is actually a lot better and makes things a ton quicker which is really good but the reason why I'm bringing that up is because like I said the engine's on hold and what they're doing is they're Reinventing it in a better light making it way a lot easier to fix glitches to pretty much reinvent the battle system, which is actually really cool and the other reason why Like you don't want to have gen 7 yet is because the engine that's currently running that's up there right now the most current one <laughs> Let's just say gen 7 is not even close to being done yet. I remember when I did my hyper emerald little thing I mentioned, oh, how the hell did they get Z moves in there? But then we realized, oh, it's actually not. It's a different version of it. It's because the Z engine isn't in the game yet. 
I'm not lying, it's not in the game. I don't know what to really expect from that kind of thing, because like I said, I'll probably, like, let's play Hyper Emerald some point or another, but I'll be honest, don't be surprised if, like, it really is not that great. So, yeah, that's, another, that's one big reason why I don't want to add Gen 7 yet, is because the abilities, the moves, they're not all done yet. Gen 6, up to Gen 6, the moves are done. The animations are probably aren't done, but that's fine. I don't really give a shit. As long as the moves function, I don't care. But as everything else comes along, I'm not adding Gen 7 yet. Until there's a better engine, I might consider it. I'm not saying, oh, Gen 7's gonna be a thing. No, I'm definitely not gonna consider it. But the problem is, is this. Uh, I don't know if this is true or not, but just take this with a grain of salt. So I got a confession to make. We have a problem. I am doing this again, but the problem is this. There's something coming out this year that's got a lot of people on edge. ROM hackers and ROM hacker admirers alike. What's the new Pokemon for Switch gonna be like? Now, I know it's a weird topic out of nowhere to talk about, but what I mean is, there's a core Pokemon game coming out this year, you guys. That's pretty cool. But the problem is, they're not specifying what kind of game it is. There's speculation as to it being Oh, it's going to be a new generation. And there's also speculation of it being a remake. If it's a new generation, let's just say I'm going to get slammed heaven, like heavily. Because this happened to me when I made the original Theta Emerald, the very first one that had Gen 1 to 5. People slammed me because Gen 6 wasn't it. And at that time, I never really worried about it because I don't think there was a, the engine was not even done yet. I think I'm not too sure. But then, when I made Theta Emerald EX in the process of it, Gen 7 came out, and that really pissed me off because you know what people started doing? Oh, we want Gen 7, and yet we have no real basis as to where the hell we're going to start with Gen 7. So, what the problem is, is that if Gen 8 drops with a Pokemon Direct coming sometime soon, I'm going to literally scream because I'm going to be checking my DMs and I kid you not, they're probably going to say, Gen 8's going to drop, are you going to put that in? To which I will take that message, print it out, put it on a wall, take my 12 gauge, and shoot it repeatedly. <laughs> now, if it's a remake of Diamond and Pearl, which that would be freaking amazing, and, but you know what the thing is? It's not going to be. It's going to be a new, freaking, a new generation, not stupid. But if it's a remake, that's not terrible, because I'll add a new form for the hell of it. Like, we all know Dialga Pokey are probably going to get a new form, or someone's going to get a new form, or something like that. Probably new Megas, probably new forms, or something like that. That you can add, I can easily, you know, add in. That's the easy part. The problem is, if it's a new generation, it's going to be new Pokemon to add, new moves, new, gener new abilities. It's going to be a nightmare, and I don't want to deal with that. So here's a little... Or something for anyone who wants Gen 8 to drop or someone like that. If you're expecting me to put Gen 8, if it comes out in Emerald, look at yourself in the mirror and say, just look at yourself in the mirror and just realize how stupid that sounds. <laughs> because I'm not adding it in. And it's not because I don't want to. But because, well, well yeah, I mean, I would want to, but. It's more of, you can't. You literally can't. You could try, you just can't. I want the next Data Emerald Renew to feel like a legit game, not a crappy ROM hack. Not in the sense of like, oh, this sucks. It doesn't feel like the real game. Which would probably be true. But the thing is, is that I want this to feel like a legit game. As, as legit as it possibly can 
of an Emerald remake. Because I did mention one thing I was going to tell you in the, in the video and, uh, at the beginning was, I am actually thinking about including a new feature for Legendaries, where... You remember in Theta Emerald and Theta Emerald EX, where there are little Hoopa uh, portals, where they would take you to... Where if you click on them, or interact with them, you immediately run to a Legendary? What I want to do is, I want to make it so that you find the portal, you can actually enter the portal, and what will happen is, you're going to be sent to a different location. And that location will actually be like a, maybe just an area where you'll find a legendary. Or it'll be like, uh, let's say you go to Mewtwo. Instead of just clicking on the portal in, I think, Altering Cave or Unknown Dungeon or whatever the heck I called it in Battle Frontier. Instead of clicking on the portal and then in Mewtwo's Cry and then battling it, no. You probably go through the portal and you'll end up at Cerulean Cave. Navigate through Cerulean Cave and then battle Mewtwo. That's just an idea I want to come up with. Something different. Instead of just, oh, hey, you got to do this and that. But that's just my opinion. I feel like that's just an idea. Like I said, this is like a very early, early like thought process. Just getting the ideas all through. But right now, it's sort of like that's an idea I want to try and do. And I hope that, you know, other ideas can come up. Like I said, there's not going to be Gen 7 or if possibility of Gen 8. Now, if there's like a Diamond Pro remake and there's new forms, I'll consider adding them. Unless they have like new abilities and stuff, then I'm just going to not even bother. So, yeah, that's just my thing. All right. So, that's it for this video. I hope you found, you know, any information, you know, interesting. Uh, hopefully you're excited for this because I heard a lot of people still wanting me to complete to continue this because the game is not the current data animal is not great and I'll be honest it's not great in my opinion so let's just see how things go I guess all right so be sure to like the video if you found any of this interesting be sure to comment on your thoughts on the next edition of data Emerald being called data Emerald renew now you're probably wondering why I said that name by the way you can probably figure it out and be sure to subscribe for more videos. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to branch out from Pokemon ROM hacking. I'm probably trying to get the more video games, other stuff, real world stuff. I'm actually thinking about doing a little video sometime soon about the crap going on with gun control and uh, all the fun stuff in the United States right now. So um, until next time, my crew, I will see you later.